You know, the funny thing is, I didn't know until you told me you were actually in the first Smokey and the Bandit movie. I was. I was. I'm just at the end. Uh, but I talked my way onto the set, skipped school, talked my way onto the set, uh, got breakfast and hair and makeup. And, and uh, at the very end, because they didn't know what to do with me, uh, at the end of the day when they were shooting, the last thing they did was <clears throat> Jackie Gleason driving off in the uh, it was a 76 El Dorado. No, no, no. Bert's in the 76 El Dorado. Jackie's in the, the cop car. He takes off after him and the wheel falls off and rolls into the crowd and hits this tall 16 year old in the shins and he's wearing a cowboy hat and a jean vest and that's me. Hmm. And then the frame freezes and the credits roll. So that's, uh, that was my claim to fame. But really the fact that I was 16, skipped school, uh, climbed a fence, found some guy with a radio, tapped him on his shoulder and said, hey, I'm sorry I'm late, but traffic on I-85 is a bear. Where's hair and makeup? <laughs> the fact that I had the balls to do that <laughs> yeah. and got away with it uh, is pretty cool. It was a friend of mine and I, a guy named Richard Jensen and I did that. So uh, I think it's pretty great. Did you talk to Jackie any that day? All day. Really? Yep. I All love day. Jackie Gleason. In, uh, I'm from Mount Kisco, New York, mm -hmm. and I think he was living in Peekskill, which is the same county. Wow. Uh, they're both Westchester County. But, uh, yeah, we talked a lot. It was uh, it was cool. He never got up. He just sat in his chair and waited to, uh, waited to go <laughs> do the scene and drank beer all day. <laughs> what kind? You remember? I don't know. It had a, he had a kid, a kid with a uh, radio flyer wagon with ice in it and a keg of beer. <laughs> And he's from New York. That sounds like Alabama. Well, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> does. yeah. Man. And then you got to know Burt Reynolds over the years. That's actually why you wanted to make stand on it as a Richard tribute. Stand. Yep. Yep. Burt and Hal. Hal Needham, who wrote and directed Smoking the Bandit, was, uh, was a real good friend of mine. Um, and we, uh, we developed a couple of movies and television shows that, that we couldn't sell. Uh, in those days, I, I thought you had to play the game by by developing something and selling it to a studio. Uh, it wasn't until 2006 I realized, you know, screw that. I'm just going to make my own movies. And uh, I made Collier and Company in 2006. And then when I met Alicia, we just, we've exploded. We've done what we want, when we want, with whom we want. Um, and one of the things I've always wanted to do was pay tribute to Smoking the Bandit. And both Bert and Hal, we talked at many, many occasions about there really isn't anybody waving the, waving the Southern horsepower flag anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, when that was such a tried and true uh, genre back in the 70s and 80s, uh, it, none of us could figure out why they weren't making them anymore. Yeah. Uh, so it was kind of up to us, and they're both gone. Yeah. It's up to me. You know, find a fancy car, put somebody in it that drives it like nobody else and uh, and make a movie about it. And that's what Stand On It is. It's it's fantastic. I'm very proud of Stand On It. 